Hi, I'm Blake Morrow, Market Analyst for Trading Views Network. Many of us jump into trades without fully understanding the dynamics that make those positions move. We see the strong trends and sharp reversals when it's too late, missing out on potential profits. In order to capitalize on these moves, you need to be able to see them before they happen. On this DVD, you will learn how to recognize these breakouts and breakdowns and the strategies you can use to capture more profits in your trading. Here to show you how to master the breakout and breakdown is best-selling author and frequent contributor to Trading Views, Alan Farley. Alan, welcome to the show. Thanks. It's nice to have you here again. Now, you've been trading for a long time. Would you say that trading a breakdown or, 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 or breakout is a more difficult way of trading? Uh, you know, it's, it's a difficult way of trading just because our market timing is not very right on. And if we're not right on with our, uh, with our timing in the markets, uh, we tend to lose money. Uh, break, uh, breakouts and breakdowns are also the way that most of us trade. That's where most of our bread and butter trades are. That's where most of our opportunity in the market is. And if we don't work on our timing and work on getting that market edge uh, that comes with uh, precise timing and knowing when to risk our money in the market, uh, then uh, we really won't succeed in the long term. I think it really comes down to uh, uh, anticipation uh, versus reaction. Uh, when we come into the markets, we're taught that uh, in order to make money, we have to, uh, we have to jump in. We see something happen, uh, you know, everybody, volume goes through the roof, uh, a, a stock starts to take off, a currency, a currency starts to take off, a, a commodity starts to take off. We watch it, we get excited, finally go, oh, should I do it, should I do it, should I get in? Finally, we make that decision. That decision a lot of times is more emotional than, than logical or rational or part of our trading plan. Sure. And, and we jump in, and we jump in at exactly the moment of the reversal. We become what's known as a bag holder. Yeah. Uh, the market reverses like, like it knew we were about to come into the market, turns around, knocks us out, and then we're all of a sudden, we're in a panic. We know, where do we get out? What do we do? So you get these like knee-jerk reactions sometimes, and would, would you say they, they come in uh, more so, like that, that knee-jerk reaction where you get the false breakout in a trending or non-trending market? Does um, that make a difference? Well, that's exactly it. If we don't understand exactly how the market functions structural, how, how breakouts are built, how, how the foundations of breakouts are built and breakdowns, the, the dynamics and emotions that go into, into a breakdown, if we don't understand that process, if we don't know how to, uh, to use the expression, read the tape, Right. before it actually occurs, then, uh, then we don't have the edge that we need to make the right decision. And that decision sometimes is to go and risk your money, sometimes it's to stand aside, sometimes it's to take a smaller position than you would than if you were absolutely feeling confident about what was going on. And so we always have those opportunities. And in respect to those opportunities, again, anticipation. I like to be an anticipatory trader, which means I want to get in before the crowd gets in. Right. I want to get in because I, I believe something's going to happen, my analysis, uh, uh, tells me that something's going to happen. Uh, the point where I get in, the crowd hasn't yet acted or reacted very, very much, so I'm getting at a fairly low risk price. And then I'm there expecting this move to unfold, whether it's a breakdown uh, with a short sale or a breakout with a, uh, with, with a long position. And so if I'm positioned that way and I get my move, uh, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be looking to get out at about the same time other people are going to be looking to get in. Yeah, as most traders, they tend to be reactionary. You're more anticipatory, just anticipating the move based on the analysis that you've done previous. Right, exactly. And what we're going to learn uh, in the next couple of hours is not only how to take that anticipatory trade, but we're also going to learn how to get the most out of chasing the market when it's the appropriate time to chase. We're going to learn about, about when's the right time to buy a, a pullback after a breakout or a pullback after a breakdown. And we're going to learn to read the cycle so we know where momentum comes into play and where we can expect momentum to increase. In a, in a, I call it a positive feedback loop, where all of a sudden you've got one group of traders jumping in or jumping out, uh, the next group of traders, then the next, then the next, and so the dominoes start to fall, and that's where you get your very, very high reward trade.